music and built her uh, connection and network. And now she's like in cahoots with music managers, uh, music supervisors who are pitching her leads and offers. And, uh, you know, and she's just doing that, you know, and making six figures, you know. Maybe sometimes for exclusive opportunities. Has her own house in Beverly Hills that she bought and that she now owns. Um, you know, and I don't know who the she is. Nobody probably knows who she is. I mean, who the am I? You know, <laughs> nobody knows who the I am. But the more you like get out there and do everything, you know, Ingrid Michaelson is a prime example. She had a song, his song on an old Navy commercial blew up, started selling out all of her shows. And of course, with that reach and grasp, you sell that much, you know, physical and, and online distribution. You know, then the team just comes naturally. People are knocking at your door and saying, hey, can I represent you? Can I do this for you? You're going to need this. People are like, oh, I want to manage you. I want to do this. You know, and that's great. You know, but unfortunately, you don't get that opportunity or those offers until you hit, you know, something big like that. Mm -hmm. But like the music, like the content that we have, not just me and Lindsay Lou and the Flat Bellies, but all the artists in the Earthwork Collective. I mean, that shit is soul satisfying, you know? Labors of love, you know, it can resonate with all different, you know, types of people all across the world, you know, and, and there's just so much potential, you know. And and if we cast this net for all the artists and we're like, oh hey, by the way, here's a service that we're now also doing for you, you know, it's gonna cost this much, here's the breakdown, but oh, here's your first paycheck of twenty five thousand dollars for this month, you know, for all your songs and licensing and physical sales and online sales because we're doing this and we have a team you know and the team's making money too so it's like and then the collective has our account that we get to like then give off for philanthropic endeavors and like for other projects um, so it's just like you know that's what's up there that's what could be happening you know if, if this hypothetical team was in play you know uh, so I guess it just takes, you know, the steps, you know, the continuation of actions, uh, the acquisition of people, and members of said team who love and believe in the message and ideology of everything we represent and also, you know, have the skill sets, you know, or potential to learn, you know. I mean, we all are continuously learning and then we get to, like, kind of have out opportunities to do it all, you know? Oh, I want to learn how to run a sound, you know, or for a show, you know? Cool, call up Ian Gorman, go into the studio, you know? You get a free freaking tutorial. You know, he points you in how to do everything. Oh, I want to learn how to record a video. You go see Johnny Rabbit, <laughs> you know? Oh, I want to learn how to write a song. You call up freaking Rachel Davis, Seth Bernard, Josh Davis, Luke Woods O'Keefe, you know, you send him emails, you know, these are like, oh, a lot of power to that shit, man. Yeah, man. For sure. And one of the biggest opportunities for outreach is, is film and, and uh, audio, you know. 